Paul? Paul? Uh, what's, uh, what's wrong, Helen? Wake up! The light won't turn on and I need to drink some water. Oh, no way. Let me sleep. But I'm scared. Okay, okay. We have a power cutoff due to the strike. Strike? What about us? What are we going to do? How will I drink water if I can go to the kitchen? With this, we're going to light our way to the kitchen with the candle. Don't be afraid, Helen. Do you see how important electricity is? Without it, you're afraid of the dark, and you had to drink water warm. Oh, um, it seems so. Paul? Paul? Hmm? Where does electricity come from? You're not really serious, are you? Come on, tell me. Uh, from the power plants. What about when they didn't exist? What happened then? Did they not have light? They did. They had lanterns and candles. And before these? But that's quite a big story. Tell me. Come on, Paul. Okay. I know you won't stop asking questions if I don't answer you. You don't have much light, so... Um, hey, get the view, Master. It all began with a bang. In the very old times, when people lived in caves and had no electricity whatsoever to cover their needs, they used fire that they discovered by mistake. Until then, they could just feel the warmth of by the sun rays. Oh, it's funny, and then? Well then, they evolved. A lot of years passed, and so humans understood that sun and fire were not the only sources of energy they could make their lives even easier. They had more needs. They started to build ships with sails that move with the wind, like the windmills. They also built water mills that utilize water to move. Like the windmills of Grand Island? Yeah, 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 like those. And then? Then they realized that they could make their lives even easier by using the steam power and later oil and other minerals produced by energy. Look, the electricity is back. This is going to be a long night. Let's search for electric power production in Europe. What does it say? Electric energy usually we produce mainly by the burning of lignite. Oh, hey, I remember. We have a book about electric energy. We can find some info there as well. What is lignite? Well, it's a mineral that... Found it! They excavated from the earth, and after they separated from the earthen material, and they circulated around. Which countries use lignite? Well, Greece for sure has a big reserve. What other countries could have lignite? Well, let's search. It says that there are big reserves in the Balkans, Germany and Russia. What about the rest of Europe? The rest of Europe is powered mainly by natural gas from Russia and Asian countries. It also mentions that electricity is some It also mentions here that electricity in some countries is produced by oil or coal. I see. Yes, but the book also says that all this mineral fuel will be exhausted one day and they will be and it will be produced again in millions of years. And that they also have a negative impact on the environment. But they do cover our needs. Could you live without mom's homemade foods? Could you see your favorite TV shows without electricity? Could you live without heating in the winter? Oh wait, what does heating have to do with electricity? Hey, we have teleheating, did you forget? I know, but what does it mean? You don't know? Well, it means that we get our heat from the power plants nearby. Yes, I remember now. But what about the impact on the environment? Well... Paul, oh, my pimple Angela from Germany has told me that her family protects, protects the environment because they use the sun to get energy. They have big constructions they, that cover up the energy of the sun and convert it to electricity. This kind of energy is also called solar energy. This way, all the needs of a house are covered by an alternative source of energy. You can also call it renewable sources. Let's set them up! Hey, what did you find? A lot. Renewable sources of energy are natural sources like the sun, the wind and the water that can be exhausted 
that we can use for energy production like electricity. Apart from solar energy, other types are eolian energy, the production of energy through the wind, and hydroelectric energy, which is energy from the movement of water. See here, it has photos of the eolian parks and hydro dumps in Europe. Quite good, Helen. Are there any other forms of alternative sources? Yes. Geothermal energy, which utilizes the hot springs underneath the surface of the earth, just like it happens in Iceland. Biomass, which is the production of energy from organic waste and urban waste. And wave energy from the waves of the sea. Look, this is in the UK. Congratulations, Helen. You found so much information. What do you think of all this, though? Is the electricity absolutely important? Should we use it thoughtlessly? How can alternative sources of energy help us? I don't know. Let me think and I'll answer to you tomorrow. I think, though, we should get back to the ways of our ancestors for energy. Sun, wind, water and all the rest. But why would we change our whole way of life? Oh, all those questions make me tired. I'll tell you tomorrow. Good night, Paul. Good night, Helen. Five. 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 Five.